Welcome back guys, welcome back to the Supermoto build, part two. Maybe we'll actually get somewhere this time. So last time, this happened. That's gonna give me some serious braking. Don't need to go bananas on these little bolts. Plenty of lube. Let's get it in. Oh yeah, baby. So today we have to bleed the brakes, uh, trim the covers for the forks, get the brake line all mounted properly. Probably bleed it once I've done that, it's probably first job. Um, I made a mistake, I said the speedo wasn't working on here, didn't I? But I thought I'd, the bracket holes weren't right, but I missed the little magnet that goes on the disc. I forgot to swap that from the other disc onto this one. So there's a little magnet that goes round and the speedo pick up and then gets it. So that's on there now, so speedo's sorted. And also, Motomaster make the proper brake light switch to go on to the front brake. So I've got a brake light, brake light, brake light, brake light switch to go on there. So I've got to order one of those. So we're all sorted. There was no issues with anything. It was just me being a dick. So I've put on the guard to, for trimming and I've, I've hold it on there. I've just spanned the wheel and it's left a little mark of where the tire gonna one's gonna touch this guard. So I'm gonna use that as my template for what I have to trim and probably just trim a small section like that with the Dremel, just so it doesn't catch. One Dremel, one box of assaulted Dremel bits and bobs. What we got in here could be useful. I think something like that. Hmm, perfect. Ooh, dirty nail. Around this piece here I need to cut. I, I could actually mark it nicely, couldn't I? Or, or I could just bodge it a little bit that side. Oh, oh dear. Ugh. Ow! Why did I draw that shit on there? Dick. There we go, bit of petrol to the rescue. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Well, trimmed and fitted mounting the cables and everything on bit of bling bit of mud pig racing bling to replace the bolts with oh yeah oh yeah baby so that is you know secured with zip tie the speedo thing and the then the so just got to bleed it now I've just got to bleed the front brake and the front end is complete okay bleeding time Time to bleed, or f not bleed, but actually fill the brakes. I've got my little bleeding syringe. This is how I do my brake bleeding. Seems to work quite well, but it's gonna be more tricky with a completely dry system. But let's see how we get on. So we need dot four brake fluid, a syringe to actually get it out, because it's a ridiculous shape. <laughs> Draw it in. All done, what a nightmare. I just spent about an hour trying to bleed the front brake. It's just had a lot of air in it. About that much movement now. But there we go. It's looking, I hate to say it again, but incredibly sexy. I can't wait to get it out on the road actually and test that brake setup. I think it's gonna be unbelievable. Stock wheel out, new wheel. I have to pinch the disc, or I have to pinch the whole disc to move over. I also on the sprocket have to pinch the sprocket bolts holding the sprocket on because I haven't got any spare ones. So let's begin. Okay disc and sprocket on, spacers in. I've also got some bling rear disc protector and bling. So I'm going to take, I know this is going to be a, it's so wide these wheels they're really hard to get in without just scratching the hell out of them, getting them past the caliper and stuff. So I'm gonna remove the chain guide here. I may take the whole chain guard off here. Take as much out as possible to make it as easy as possible because it's a pig. So, new fancy pants things fitted. Mud pig racing, bling-a-bling-blings. 
brake pad secured, pads in. There can be a pain as pads falling out as you're trying to do this. I've taken off the uh, chain guide, moved over the, this a little bit, so I've got a clearest run as possible to get that wheel in. So let's see what we can do. This is either gonna be fine or horrendous. There's the problem. It just gets straight on the caliper. You've got to be very inventive. Um, Oh, it's a job, it's tricky, but we're finally there. Rear wheel is in. Oh, it's starting to really take shape. It's so hard to get the wheel in with the caliper without scratching things, but managed it. I just hope I don't have to take it apart again now. <laughs> now it's in, I want it to stay in for the time being. SM Pro wheels are just absolutely gorgeous. So it's in. It looks also like, I was a bit worried about chain rub because sometimes when you go for these, the 160s, the chain can actually rub on the edge of the tire, sort of through here. But I think we're okay with that. So the next job really is to fit the chain and then it is, <laughs> could actually be test ridden. Fit the chain, I think I'm gonna have to re-bleed the back brake again. But, uh, oh, it's finally taking shape. So I've gone for a Regina chain, also a 14 inch front sprocket, which I've already got a 14 inch front sprocket on there, but as we're changing the chain and the rear sprocket, let, let's replace it as well, keep it all new. I've already removed the shaft bolt from the sprocket, so that should come off. I've just got to take off this cover here, and I think we can get the front sprocket out. The chain probably isn't going to be the right size, so we're going to have to take some links out of the chain. It's tricky to get it the right length, how many links to take out, but it's trial and error, so I'm gonna take maybe one out at a time and see how we go. I'm gonna be lazy. I haven't got a proper chain pin pusher. I did have one, but they break. They're so hard to get a decent one, which actually works properly. So I'm just gonna angle grind the pin off and bang them through. We're gonna bodge it. Okay. A few links too big, I think, there. So I think we could probably just drop that. If I cut that pin off, push that link out, I think that'll be enough. We're quite far forward on the adjustment. Or should we go a little bit more? It's quite tight on the tire. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit touching the tire there. Tiny little bit. Just take another one out. So you can so easily go one too many here. I think I'm gonna just, I think I'm gonna cut that one. Are we ready for this? Bodge-tastic. Don't worry, I'm a trained professional. Simple as that. You don't want to play, you'll get the big hammer. Bingo! Split link. Mm -mm, get him on. Yummy mummy. Done. Bloody done. It was a bit of a problem. I had to, I've taken the adjusters back much further, further than I really wanted to. But if I've taken another link out of the chain, I'm worried it might have been too short, so. We have to run it like that. Went to the chain, stretches a little bit, and then take another link out just to ensure I don't take it too short. But I think she is ready for testing. Woohoo!
Well, come along, guys. Well, this is it. This is it, the test ride. Ooh, what a fun break. Sped those tyres in. Come on now, chops. Very, very easy to kick the front up. Extremely easy. That front brake has got a lot of power there already. Already it's got power. 